Volunteers say last night's destruction undid hundreds of hours of volunteer work. You can see the path of destruction. This heavy piece of machinery took going over the sidewalk onto this grass, ultimately coming to a rest down the hill beyond the fence behind me. This excavator is clearly out of place. I was like, that's the guy. <laughs> and I just happened to come across him as he was driving a backhoe up the sidewalk. Genevieve Courtney is a steward at Dr. Jose Rizal Park. She says she saw the stolen piece of machinery being driven up South 12th Avenue in Judkins Saturday night. The man behind the wheel was not a construction worker. He was driving a little crazy, this giant piece of heavy machinery. And this is a park that I've spent hundreds of hours volunteering in. She called 911 multiple times, but got the feeling dispatch wasn't taking her call seriously. And they were like, well, does he have a weapon? And I'm like, yes, he has a backhoe. That's a weapon. And they're like, no, we mean a gun or a knife. And I'm like, well, this is a lot more dangerous than a knife. He's driving a backhoe through the park. When Seattle police arrived an hour later, they escorted the man from the ditch. We Heart Seattle took this video and shared it with Fox 13. They say the man was arrested, but his destruction and nearby encampment was left for local volunteers to clean up. Hundreds of hours of volunteer time have been undone. There are trees that we have planted that were fairly mature, 6 to 15 years old, that have been driven into the ground. During the cleanup, crews found drugs, including methamphetamine. We Heart Seattle says the stolen bulldozer and subsequent events should be a wake-up call for city leaders. For somebody to have the nerve to, to take a piece of equipment of this value and destroy our urban forests makes you question everything. Why are we here in the first place? Why has Seattle become a no-rules playground? And you're looking at some of the items cleaned up from the debris site. Still unclear where that heavy piece of machinery came from, but volunteers believe it may have come from a nearby construction site. Reporting from Dr. Jose Rizal Park, Dave Detling, Fox 13 News.